The Triton Trojans go for their second consecutive 1A state championship this weekend. They come in 24-2 and and will take on the Jack Sindel Eagles in the championship contest. Head coach Jason Grubbs, congratulations. It's great. To win last year, to be back, has got to be a really special feeling as well. It is. You know, we got we have a good group of seniors. You know, we had a guy, one returner start, returning star from last year, Colton Keel, who's a pretty good guy to build around. Um, you know, but our, you know, the guys that waited patiently behind that, you know, I'm so proud of those guys because you know when they got their opportunity, they really stepped up and and you know they, they've done a great job. So often it seems in small school basketball, you get a group, you get a class of guys that are on their way. It seemed like last year was that year. You lost a significant portion of the firepower you had. To come back this year, was that in the expectations? You know, it was surprising, but yet it wasn't. And it's the same time. You know, I knew we had the pieces of the puzzle. It was just a matter of how they're going to fit together. You know, and I guess they fit together nicely. You know, these guys, um, like I said earlier, you know, waited patiently for their opportunity to come. Because I think some of these guys probably could have started on varsity basketball teams last year. Um, you know, but when, when their opportunity came, they definitely took advantage of it. You know, I think we've improved. You know, I think we've improved from the beginning of the season to the end of the season. You know, and that's kind of one of our goals is keep getting better each and every day. And I think that these kids did that. And that's kind of why we've had our success in the postseason. When you talk about your team and personnel, you mentioned Colton Keel, uh, the only returning starter last year, your leading scorer this year. W what has he brought to the table? Yeah, he brings a little bit of everything. You know, he can score, he can rebound, and you know, I think one, pe one thing that people underestimate is his passing ability. You know, if, if you double him in the post, he's going to find somebody open to knock down a shot or somebody cut into the basket. Um, you know, and so he just makes everybody on the court better. Talking about some of those other players that have replace those starters gone from last year who have those guys been uh, you know it starts with our point guard Ben Montabano you know he was uh, on the JV all of last year you know played very limited in the postseason you know but he does a great job running our offense you know he's very quick uh, very quick off the dribble um, you know does a great job you know running the offense setting up the defense um, with his quickness and we have Joel Meister you know I think he's our third leading scorer he's kind of a slasher he's our best defender always guards the our team's best best player and uh, Griffin Carpenter Griffin Carpenter played you know hit a crucial shot in last year's state tournament as a freshman and you know he kind of you know kept carrying it on right from there because he's he's knocking down a lot of threes this year that's for sure let's talk a little bit about your tournament run the Triton sectional has proven to be <laughs> one of if not the most difficult in 1a I believe now two straight years if not three straight years you've had a team here in the state championships uh, you made it through there you uh, hosted the regional as well um, and then beating Lafayette Central Catholic by three points you've had a couple of close contests here in the last couple of games but talk a little bit about this tournament run it's been it's been fun that's for sure you know it's exciting a lot of exciting games uh, you know our sectional we had to play Argus which is one of our, our rivals in the season anyway so you know that that's always a tough game no matter when that is where it is and you know fortunately we're we're fortunate enough to get past that you know then we had two quality opponents in the regional Bethany Christian uh, they're a great, great team, you know, very well coached. Coach Buller's been there for years and years and does a great job with his team. You know, fortunately, we were able to win that, and then we played Bowman Academy, who is unbelievably talented. And, and, you know, but our kids, I think, just refused to lose that game. You know, they were really focused. Uh, we played really well, shot the ball really well, and so that was a big win for us. And, you know, and then we had to go again to Lafayette to play LCC. You know, and they're the same thing, you know, very well coached team, um, a great team. And you know our kids just battle. And I think it was the same thing. They just refused to lose down the stretch. You know they they found ways to win. Whenever if we needed a rebound, we got it down the stretch. And I think that's one thing those kids learned from last year is how to win. And finally, your opponent Jack Sindel. They're a senior-laden group. Do you know much about them and how this game should play out? You know, and I don't yet. You know, that's one thing. We're getting tapes today, and we're we're going to be hunting down more tapes. And I'm on spring break this week, so I get to watch. You know, my family's down in Florida, and so I'm going to be home by myself. I'll be a bachelor for this week and sit there and watch tape, game tape, and I'll have a lot of time to do that and learn about them. You know, but from what I understand, they're very long. They're, they remind me of last year, from what I understand, our team last year. Um, very long, have a lot of height, and so you know, that's that could be a, a concern for us because we're not very big. <laughs> Well, we hope your family comes back to watch the game on Saturday. Uh, they'll be back. They'll be back. They'll be back. <laughs> Congratulations on making it back. Best of luck this right, weekend. Thank you.